Oh, Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Glasgow at the Emirates Arena for the MTK Scotland show with me. I've got the fighting pride of Scotland on St Andrew's Day, Josh Taylor. Uh, how are you? It's been not much such a fight. Ah, not bad. I've just, uh, just been chilling out, enjoying the downtime with my family and friends and uh, just chilling out. I'm, I'm already back training, I'm already back in the gym, ticking over. Only took like a week and a half, two weeks off. Start back out on the road, ticking over. Doing a bit of material on the pads and that, so I'm, uh, I'm bored already, so I'm back training already. Have you watched your fight back against... Uh, lost a couple of yeah. times, aye. Uh, yeah, what do you have your session performance after watching it back? Great performance, I thought it was great. Um, I was very relaxed, I thought it was very relaxed, never really got out of second gear, to be honest. Um, great and I thought, ah, great performance, aye. Really happy with it. Next fight is Brancic. We touched on it briefly when I had done my post fight interview with you uh, against Brancic. Have you watched more of Brancic? Have you studied him a little bit more? I've not, I've not, I've not, I've not watched him at the minute. I'm, I'm enjoying my downtime. I'm yeah. not really thinking about boxing. Uh, except for keeping myself in shape and working on myself, uh, ticking over and keeping fit. So um, I'm not really thinking about what's uh, what's going on. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'll watch him when I start getting back into training. and, and uh, I've watched enough film to know enough about him already mm -hmm. to think that I can beat him already. So um, I'll watch him when I get back into camp. What, uh, have anyone from the World Boxing Association messed with any dates or anything like that to you yet? No, I've not heard anything, you know, no, I've not heard anything, uh, you know, as much as me. I'll just get told where it is and, and when it is, so um, I'll find out in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Hopefully soon. Well, you're here to watch the MTK Scotland show. You've, there's a couple of your friends on the bill. Mm -hmm. Bruce McFadden, old Scotland teammates, your old gym mate Lewis Benson, who's just out the ring there. A tough fight against Ty McKenna. <coughs> um, I want to just touch on a couple of fights that happened tonight with me, Reese McFadden, and mm -hmm. self Southpaw. Aye, good, aye. I thought we Reese was good. Um, he was really relaxed and letting his punches go and flow. And we character, Reese. Aye, he's, he's, uh, he doesn't lack in confidence. So, aye, no, he was he was really good. I was uh, happy for Reese to get his going. He's, he's buzzing to get in again already. So, aye, it was good. Definitely. Well, again, your, your teammate there, who you've done a few rounds with, leading up to this fight, is Lewis Benson. Uh, a, a great fight, another close fight. It's two close mm. fights he's been in against Tommy Cole and Tyrone McKenna. Uh, you sitting ringside for yeah. uh, Lewis against McKenna. I just wonder yeah. what your thoughts are on the fight. I thought it was a great fight. Mm. Um, very close fight, very close fought fight, you know, um, early rounds, very, very aches and peaks. Mm -hmm. um, second half of the fight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I thought Lewis was the the cleaner, the cleaner boxer, um, catching him with the one twos and the jabs, and and keeping his shape. I just thought he was catching him with the cleaner shots. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it wouldn't be one or two rounds, to be honest. Well, before I let you go, I know it's getting late and you're probably wanting a pizza or something like that, maybe? Nah, no pizzas. No pizzas for you. Nah, no pizzas. I see, that's the afternoon. <laughs> uh, a big fight tomorrow, tomorrow night, uh, Tyson Fury against Wilder. I've been asking everyone their opinion. The big man, the Gypsy King. The Gypsy Definitely, King. I, I thought he was being a fan of him. I think, I think he's very good for the sport. His banter's amazing, you know, he's some character, so um, I really hope he does it. I, I would say Fury on you know, a wide points decision, but. Um, I wouldn't be surprised I'm going to go there. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually walks him onto a shot and, and, and chins him. Tyson chins well. Aye, aye. Are you the um, only one that said that tonight? Everyone's I'm saying putting my leg out there because like, I think he's going to frustrate him and outbox him and he's going to get out of the way and always punch his big swings. And he, he might catch him with his punches when he comes in and like squares himself yeah. up. Well, the squares himself up and I think he might catch him and walk him onto a shot. Never know. You never but at the end well. of the day, I think, I think Tyson's going to do it, and I hope, I really hope he does. Good stuff, Well, Again, before that, you go, Bob Box and Super Series, you winning the whole thing? 100%. Do you even need to ask me that? Stupid question, eh? Do you need to ask me that? I just need to get the quote. I just need to get the quote. Of course. <laughs> right, Josh, thanks for this 5 TV, and I'll catch up with you soon, mate. Nice one, mate. Thanks, Cheers. buddy.